Hey there, welcome back. This week we're talking about letting go of resistance. And when you do, you listen to the signs of the universe, step into the flow of life and your own authenticity and unleash not only your true potential, but the magic and the beauty of what really wants to come through you in coordination with the universe. So I'm going to share with you a little story about me and my journey and my own resistance and stepping into that river of life. But first, I want you to subscribe below because as we move through these videos together and I share with you tools and tricks, we're evolving our consciousness together and you're really going to want to be subscribed below. So do that now. So what does resistance mean? What does it really mean? Resistance could be the tiniest little feeling inside of you of not wanting something, of not wanting to be in traffic or not wanting to engage with your child when you've had a really long day. Or it could be that boss that's, you know, pushing on you to do better. Or it could be your partner who's, um, you know, you're in resistance, they're snoring or they're chewing, right? These are all tiny little examples of resistance, but there are also much larger scale areas where we are in resistance to the signs from the universe, right? When we stop resisting in our everyday life to these little things, to these, um, you know, annoyances, these grievances, when we just let go and surrender to them, we open up to something that's much, much bigger. That channel opens up and it clears out. Think of it as like a channel, right? Or or broadband, like uh, Wi-Fi in your house, right? We know that only a certain amount can come through. So when we stop resisting, we let go of that. The channel opens up and you open up to signs and embrace your true potential. So for me, that looked like for example, about six months ago or so, um, I had someone come to me and shared some um, stories uh, that, you know, sort of like gossip um, that folks were um, talking about, that a person was talking about how many of you have had this happen or somebody says something that's unkind and it, and it really bothers you, right? Even if it doesn't hurt, even if you know it's not true, it just bothers you. And then the third person, how do you engage with that person? Well, for me, there was a little bit of resistance, right? I wanted to defend myself. I wanted to, you know, share. And I had data to support and to back me up. And I just can't understand, you know, how someone could could be so hurtful and say something so unkind. And so there was a part of me that really wanted to resist it. And I did a little bit. And then I went to bed and I slept on it and I woke up and I did some, you know, quiet time in the morning and I reflected and did some journaling and I got to this place of having a conversation about myself about what really mattered. What really mattered was my relationship with the person um, who was sharing with me, someone very, very close to me. And so through that, I got clear about what matters and I know that that person doesn't believe the gossip and so it's really okay. I could just surrender. I could just let go of resisting you know, that toxicity. And through that, what came was this powerful, like that, that channel completely cleared. Okay. And I got these incredible signs that otherwise I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have had the energy to pay attention to. Right. And what has come from that is an incredible opportunity. It's a business that I've launched that I'll be sharing with you, or you may have already seen it out there on social media. You know, it's an incredible business, a spiritual retreat center in Broken Bow, Oklahoma, and it's been incredibly successful and powerful. And that's just in the last 120 days, right? If I had spent more time on this, you know, situation where the person was gossiping and saying things that were just not true, I would have just been caught up in that resistance. I would have created a wall. What you resist persists. If there's nothing else you remember from this, it's what you resist persists. And instead, I just let go. I just surrendered and I opened up to the beauty and the power and the magic. And that's what it's felt like is magic unfolding. So here's what I want you to practice this week. Find five places over the next seven days, like one a day, 
So maybe five to seven areas where you're just resisting. Like I said, it could be something super simple. It could be, you know, that you're feeling called to do a different career. You're being called to a life purpose beyond what you're willing to share, right? It's, it could be something deep inside of you. And so I want you to find a few places where you're in resistance. And I don't want you to do anything. I just want you to notice. I just want you to say to yourself, ooh, here's a place where I'm in resistance. How can I let go of this right now? Just say those words to yourself and just take one breath after that. It's super simple, right? This process can be super simple. Now, I didn't say easy. What I did say is simple. So I want you to practice that this week because here's the truth is that this is a practice just like anything else. Resistance is a practice and this is a practice of just letting go and surrendering. So I'm really looking forward to hearing back from you how this goes this week and I look forward to seeing you back here next week. Take care. Have an amazing day. Bye now.